Hey, this is John Fernay, the co-host of the Maryland Crabs, and I am here today with a Maryland Crab Cake for your listening pleasure. What's a crab cake? It's not quite a full episode, it's just a little snippet. Stay tuned and check it out. And make sure you check us out on themarylandcrabs.com. You can follow us on Twitter at MD Crabs Podcast or find us on Facebook at the Maryland Crabs Podcast. And don't forget, subscribe, rate us, iTunes, go there now. Hey, joining me on the phone today is a legendary pop star. She has earned two number one hit singles and set a record as the youngest female artist to top Billboard charts with her debut album. Her current album is Pieces of Me. It's her 10th studio album, which will open many eyes into a deeper soul of her. Much different than you may have known her. She's matured since 1987, and with this new album, while there is still some pop to it, rock and roll is definitely out front. With her two tart chopping singles, I think we're alone now and could have been. I'm thrilled to be speaking with none other than Tiffany. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am awesome. Thank you for taking a few moments to chat with us before you roll here into Annapolis to the Rams Head on stage, which is on Sunday evening. You've got an eight o'clock show. And it was funny. I was just checking your site, which is tiffanytunes.com. And I do recommend everybody go check that out. I'm just wondering how the hell you do it. I'm looking. Oh, God. You're, 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 you're in South Carolina tonight, Virginia tomorrow, here on Sunday, then Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, back to New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, Kentucky, Nebraska, then back to Illinois. And that's all before Halloween. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's never, <laughs> yeah. It's, well, I mean, we've been doing this a little while now, but I mean, it's got to be done. I mean, literally, pound the pavement, spreading the word about the new music about me as a live performer. You know, I mean, I'm very grateful for the early beginning. I think we're alone now, could have been all the songs, but my heart was always to do more rock-oriented stuff, a little bit more edgy, which I'm doing now, and I'm so thrilled because it really has taken all of this time. I mean, we've been working at this now for a couple of years, touring and talking about the new music and that it's coming and then dropping the album last year, but... You know, now is really where I'm starting to see people come to the shows and they get it and they know the album and they're singing the lyrics. You know, for an artist who releases new music, you know, any artist really, that's kind of like a challenge. Because, of course, people are like always reared up to sing the hits or songs that they know. But the new stuff, they're a little like, "Mm," you know. But I have to say thank you to all my fans because they're getting it. They're going out and looking at the website, tippytunes.com and checking out the album before buying the album, buying the music, and then coming ready to rock. So that is the homework for everyone. Please. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, it's it's a great night of music. It really is. You do get the hits, and you get all the new stuff. So, And I love my passion for live performing. It's really... You know, I, I'm hoping that's what I'm showing everybody. Well, it's funny. I was doing my homework for our call today, and I came across the 2019 remake of I Think We're Alone Now. And I got to say, man, that's a great version of a song that is, you know, so old. I mean, it was 20 years old when you recorded it initially. And, um, you know, I was bopping to it when I was younger. And that song really, for a while, almost defined you in sort of a Bob Denver Gilligan kind of a way, because, I mean, that was that was Tiffany's song. Right. Yet right now, I mean, you're still embracing that song here today, just as you were before. And I mean, that song is pretty sharp. Well, thanks. I really love the music version. And again, everybody go check it out. You know, iTunes 2019. I think we're alone now. Um, And again, you know, it was just really making the new stuff kind of blend with some of the retro stuff. And songs like could have been songs like I think we're alone now. And I saw them standing there. All of these songs are just really well-written songs and they can take on many life forms. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that hard to kind of like look at, I think we'll know now and go, all right, let's push it a little bit. And my producer, Mark Alberici, definitely delivered on that. And and it's been great because I did get to go back and do the new video before I think we're alone now, go back to LA, do all the old school stuff that we did, visit all the original sites, but then add new stuff with my friends in it, um, been lifelongers, you know, from high school, go to my high school. Um, it was a really great day, day of filming. It was a lot of fun. And then the video came out and within a month, it was like over a million views and I couldn't be more thrilled. Again, thanks to everybody for all the support.
talking with Tiffany, who will be bringing her show to the Rams Head on stage in Annapolis on Sunday the 13th. There are still a few tickets left, and I do want to emphasize a few, so go get them while you can. You can get them at ramsheadonstage.com. After your hits, the one we just heard, and also could have been, and you were leading the charge on the mall tours, which were, uh, I guess you were, the, you were the first one to do the mall tour, weren't you? Well, I'm the only one to do the mall tour, yes, and do it successfully. I know they had other people after, but it wasn't the same effect, I don't think, for a lot of people, you know? I think that's just, I don't think that was any reason for me or anything like that. It was just a certain time. It was the time. Um, and I was the first person to do the mall tour. I was the guinea pig. Well, uh, so, and, you know, I think it definitely worked, but, you know... I, I'm so grateful for the mall tour because, like, literally the project would have stalled. They were they were throwing me in, in clubs, and I was way too young to be in clubs. So the music was working, but the connection with the fans was not happening because of my age. So if it wasn't for the mall tour, I wouldn't be here, to be honest with you, because they were going to stop the album promotion and everything. After, you know, I'm going to say after your initial albums, uh, you turned a little bit more of a normal turn. I mean, you got married, you had a kid, you got divorced, you did the whole PTA thing. Um, I did the whole thing, the whole life thing. You know, you know, um, hey, you know, you know we'll, we'll, we'll accept those, life, re- but you know, <laughs> we'll accept the reality TV shows or something like not quite normal, but, uh, I mean, you even opened up a clothing boutique in Nashville, which I understand. Is that your new home now, Nashville? Uh, well, LA actually. So yeah, I'm excited about that, but I do have a place in Nashville as well. Well, that's great. Now your, your son has got to be approaching 30. Is he in musically inclined like you are as well? Or no, he's a structural engineer. He's totally different mindset. Um, you know, I exposed him to music and, you know, it, it, that's what's supposed to happen. I want to nurture that, but he took guitar and drum lessons, piano lessons and went, no, I don't want to do any of this. <laughs> and, <laughs> so no, he's not a musician. You know, and kudos to you for letting him do it, you know, letting him do what well, he Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's a colorful life and, and I definitely am very proud of musicians, people in my life and, um, you know, but it, it really is something that has to be in your heart there, you know, um, and natural. So, you know, if it was there, I wanted to definitely nurture it, but was no pressure um, for my son or for even, I have a lot of godchildren and a lot of nieces and nephews and, you know, I would never pressure them, but I would definitely offer it. And I think even if people are going to choose music as a career, it's just nice to do something, you know, to be able to go off in a corner and play something and have some downtime to yourself. You know, music is very healing. Let's talk about Pieces of Me for a little bit, okay? And it's your latest album release, you late, late last year it released. And, um, you know, to be honest, it couldn't be any more different than the Tiffany I knew way back when. Today's Tiffany, I guess, brings out a, a really deep, sort of a soulful rock and blues sound. Um, and to borrow a phrase from Amanda Shaw, but, uh, you know, it's not the bubblegum pop princess from 19, you know, back in the 1980s. It has an edge to it. And I found that as I was listening to the, the album, uh, it's not too dissimilar, and I don't know whether this is going to tick you off or th- make you say okay, but it's not too dissimilar from a lot of the older Joan Jett stuff. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Um, I you mean, know, um, yeah, we wanted really kind of like even the new stuff, we wanted a, a little bit of modern, obviously, modern sound like Foo Fighters and what's happening today and be current, but also be fun and be retro to some degree. You know, have melodies that aren't so hard to understand or get in your head and don't require, you know, you to be a singer, you know, and I think 80 songs had a lot of those qualities. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of what we went for a little bit, you know, some of the throwback retro stuff, like a Joan Jet, like a Go-Go's, like a Blondie, uh, and which is my heart, a little bit Pat Benatar, a Stevie Nicks, of course. But, you know, again, very current. So I take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> there there you go. Well, hey, on the on the album, do you have a favorite or a more meaning? I, I hate, I know what's your favorite. It's like picking your favorite kid. But do you have a more meaningful track on that album? Well, I mean, definitely songs like Storm are meaningful for me, Pieces of Me, which is, you know, the title track. I wrote that about myself and my life. So they're very vulnerable. Um, but, you know, the singles, obviously, are my favorites because they're highlights of the album. Uh, the new single is Waste of Time, and it's definitely grounded more in rock. And that's the single that we're working And, you know, again, I love the lyric, you know, in that song. It's all about pursuing something, pursuing something, and then maybe this is just a waste of time. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of like the tongue-in-cheek a little bit of, like, pursuing something, but you don't know, which is happens a lot in people's relationships and jobs and whatever, like good, the bad, the ugly. So that's the current single...
again, we're talking with Tiffany, who musically has grown from a teen pop icon in 1987 to a soulful rock and blues artist. And you're going to be at the Rams Head on stage this Sunday. Tickets, you can get them at ramsheadonstage.com. And I know you're on your way probably to get to a sound check in South Carolina right now, but as we just wrap up, um, and here's your part where you can cringe a little bit. I was checking out your Wikipedia page. It was funny. I was talking to Rick Wakeman the other week, and he said that he just hates Wikipedia. He had some choice words for it. It was hysterical. But there was a line... <laughs> There was a line in there that said, while attending Leffingwell Christian High School, a group of friends and she behaved, and I love this euphemism, in a manner which contravened school regulations. Can you elaborate on that at all? No, I don't know about that. I think I was good. <laughs> I think I was a good girl all the time. I still right, have a clue okay. what you're talking about. All right, all right. you um, stick yeah, with no, that I, story. I, I, yeah, it's, I'm from Norwalk, so let's just put it that way. There's all the gray in <laughs> that, we never on ourselves. <laughs> that, that all right. Well, Tiffany, I have never had the pleasure of seeing you live. I am looking forward to it on Sunday. I was a fan in 1987. I am still a fan today. Um, it was a pleasure to talk to you this afternoon. I'm looking forward to my first ever Tiffany concert. Not at a mall, but at the Rams Head on stage at age 57. Go figure that out. Again, Tiffany will be at the Rams Head on stage on Sunday, the 13th of October, for an 8 p.m. show. The doors will open at seven. Tickets are available at Rams Head on stage.com and if you do miss her here be sure to check out the new tunes and also her tour at tiffanytunes.com tiffany thank you very much for your time good luck in your show tonight and we will see you in about four days i guess awesome i'll see you guys soon thank you for all your time i appreciate it bye bye
This has been the Maryland Crabs Podcast with Tim Hamilton and John Fernay. Sure to follow them in all the regular places, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and online at themarylandcrabs.com. Take a moment to rate us on iTunes. Now, get the hell out of my kitchen. Seriously, go! You're still here? It's over. Go home.